what is science today we're going to learn about science which is a very familiar term we all use the word science every day you use the word science in your class science class science teacher science book we hear the term even outside in the news we see that uh, science and technology inventions in science so today some scientists they received some nobel prize for their discoveries and inventions and the news we see that this is the these are the negative effects of science on the society positive effects of science so likewise we hear the term science every day what is this science so before uh, we look into that what is that science we are very sure that whatever may be the science it is a very useful and it benefits the human society we all know that that is the reason you are learning science so when you go to higher classes there you will take up one branch of science either engineering or medicine or some biochemistry or biotechnology or uh, you may take any uh, different types of physics nuclear physics so astrophysics likewise different branches of science we take up and we uh, take that uh, particular profession or research so the thing is clear that science is a beneficial one to the human society the quality and even the quantity of life is improved and the comforts are increased and the human life is made so sophisticated because of the science and the scientist of and the work of the scientist so the research of the scientist and the science made the human life so comfortable we are all leading a modern life where we have different kind of comforts we have good transportation we can transfer we can transport we can travel hundreds of kilometers in very less time thousands of kilometers we can travel between different countries we can enjoy different varieties of food we can get different types of entertainment we can get any sort of knowledge from any corner of the world through that internets computers and many of the works are done so fast even the accounts are maintained in computers so we see that there is a fast pace and uh, we have lot of facilities lot of provisions lot of advancement in the in different fields so that is our food production of our food maintenance of our health medical care and infrastructure facilities infrastructure like we have different kind of transportation facilities different kind of buildings and uh, so all these are the results of science so science means understanding the nature understanding the principles of nature and finding the positive way how these principles can be used for the benefit of mankind for the human society how these uh, principles of science they cater the needs of man so such investigation is science so science is the concerted human effort of understanding the nature so how the nature is understood by process like observation the nature is observed and experiments are conducted experimentation and coming for some inference or conclusions so by that we can understand the nature so we always see that scientists are involved in conducting experiments so that is a research part of their research work so by experimentation we will come to know various facts so in such a process the science is studied so science is a science is a organized or systematized organized or systematized study of knowledge so it is a systematized or organized there are there is certain pattern there is, there is a specific pattern by which the science can be studied so by which the facts of nature can be revealed out which will be later used for the benefit of mankind so what is the beginning of this study we know that science is a tool 
to search the truths of nature. But we see, we observe in a group, say for example in your classroom, you will find someone will be very curious. He might be asking all the teachers, teacher why that leaf is in red color, teacher why the sky becomes red color sometimes, teacher why the water is in blue color. So likewise, certain people will be, certain students will be very curious in asking questions. So we find certain students are not thinking at such things at all. So there are some curious minds in this world who are curious about all the things. So they will be amazed by this world in which they are living. So when we look around, we will be amazed by the beautiful nature. So how is this grass growing? Who planted the seeds of grass? How the banyan tree is growing on the wall? How certain white color structure mushrooms are growing on the trunk of the tree? How the bird is able to live on that height of the tree? So how the bird is able to make the nest? How the bird is able to stitch its own nest? So in such a way, there will be so many doubts in our mind. So here, all these doubts are the questions. These questions are the beginning of the study of the science. So they are the motive or initiative. So we studied an example about that Newton's law of motion when we studied that this uh, story of Newton. So there was a story that when Newton was under an apple tree, so the apple f fell from the tree onto the ground. So then he got a question in his mind, why the apple is falling on the earth? Why not the earth is going up? So because of the questioning, he started inquiring answer for the question. So it led to the discovery of his loss. In such a way, questioning is a primary part of studying science. So everybody cannot study the science and everybody cannot do the research and find out the facts. It is possible for the minds, those who are curious, inquisitive, so that those who are having interest in understanding the nature, they will get so many doubts. And many people, even though they get the doubts, if they are not uh, enough, uh, if they don't have enough interest in uh, rectifying their doubts, okay, they get their doubt, they are satisfied, okay, some might, something might be the reason. But do you find certain people, they are not that easy going. They wanted to find out the answer at any cost for the question. They ask the teacher. Teachers say that, okay, that is not there, that is not yet found, it is a mystery. So the person goes to a library, goes to internet and he does some work, collects the information. So that is a research work, collecting the information. So after collecting all the information, he finds that the answer is not found yet because of some challenges. So if he take up the work of solving the challenges, overcome the challenges to find out the facts, then he is a scientist, researcher. So in such a way the science is studied but the beginning is that questioning, questioning is the starting of studying science.